If you'd like to present small items like these in video, but make them look like they were photoshopped onto a white background, but still in video like this, 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 or this, then in this video, I'll show you how you can get this lit from beneath effect and make your videos and products really stand out. Now there are lots of videos out on YouTube where people show off latest products, maybe latest toys, maybe jewelry collections, perfume collections, electronics, cameras, you name it. Anything which is small and you can easily handle. And they'll normally do it on something like a tabletop or a white background or something similar. But very few people will actually do it on this underlit background here. And this can give it a very distinctive sort of look. As we can see, when we've zoomed in on this, we've got another camera uh, on this, and we can see the actual items. And if I take my hands out of the way, this looks like it's been photoshopped. I mean, you could almost say that was a photoshopped image, and someone had just cut these out and just put them onto a white background. But of course, it's not a white background that's been photoshopped electronically. This is all in video. So then you can pick the thing up and you can show it and you can see the actual item. So you've got this really super white, clean background that's lit from the top, beneath, left and right. There's no shadows, there's no sort of dark areas. But let's see what this looks like if we were to just light it normally without the underneath lighting. Now we've got the lighting off and we can see we've got the top down lighting, but this is creating an awful lot of shadows now. Um, and although the actual products and everything is still well lit, it doesn't sort of shine and glow like it did before. When we have the lighting coming up from below, the glass bottle sort of, the light shone through it and made the red liquid and red glass really sort of come to life. The beads as well um, really sort of look much nicer with the light shining through them. Uh, the Skylander toy with the uh, base which glows effectively orange when you put it near a light source, that doesn't glow as much, it doesn't look as good. And you've got a lot, of, a lot of shadows as well. I mean, if you look at my hands here, you can see my hands just moving above everything and you can see the shadows, even if they're not in shot. And the products themselves cast shadows. Take my hand out of the way, you can see the shadow of the Skylander there. So when it's lit from below, you don't get these shadows anywhere near as much. In fact, you can virtually eliminate them. And this is where you can get that really nice white clean background effect. And obviously keep the things looking really well lit because they're lit from not only above the sides, but also from underneath. Now, in order to get this lit from below background, you're gonna need something which is probably like a light box. Now, a professional light box of the size which we were actually just showing would be very expensive. But with a little bit of working around, finding stuff probably in the house, you can actually make this for an awful lot less. First thing you actually need is a glass table. And I've got one here, it's a glass dining table. If we lift this up, you'll see. Glass table, it's actually got a painted black border underneath here, but the middle part here is see-through. And it's not tinted as well, it's clear glass. And this sort of thing you can pick up for around about 10, 15 pounds on eBay, which is about $20. So they are really rather cheap. Second thing you actually need is then a Perspex sheet. Now this is the actual acrylic sheet which I'm using, which is also called Perspex. And this was cut to size for me by a local sign makers. And the stuff you want to use is the white Perspex, which is semi-transparent and it's used for making signs because you want obviously the light to shine through it. If you get the stuff which is solid, then it will just be a white piece of plastic and the light won't show through. And then obviously the third thing you need is a light source. So this is the light I'm using, it's a twin strip light. It's the twin five foot, uh, 58 watt strip lights which I actually use for illuminating my backgrounds, green screens, white screens, that sort of thing. And basically all we do here is we lay this on the floor underneath the table. So we put this under here like this, and then when we turn it on, the reason for having a strip light rather than a studio light is that the strip light will light from one end of a table to the other evenly and also across here. So you then get an even light all the way across the table. If you use a spotlight or a studio light 
under the middle somewhere or even two of them you'll probably find you end up with sort of pools of light where it'll be very bright and then it will be getting dimmer sort of around it which might not look quite so good so a long strip light underneath will work a lot better now once we've got our light under the table and turned on all we need to do now is actually put our piece of perspex on top of the table like so and there we are that covers up effectively the glass area and then we've got here a light on a boom pole it's an led battery powered light and i can fit the turn this around and then illuminate down from above if you've got ceiling lights you might be able to do the same if you've got a, a studio light you might be able to bring it in from somewhere but i find these little lights here provide just enough light to actually illuminate what's actually on the table and this is pretty much it all we need is the glass table a piece of perspex and then a light underneath and then we can get this underlit white background ready to actually start doing your videos so we've come to the end of another video and i hope you found it useful and informative and if you did and you know someone else who might find it useful don't forget to share it with them also don't forget to rate and subscribe and leave any comments below in the box and go on over to video-alchemy.com and join our newsletter now. Anyway, my name's Paul Shilito and this has been a Video Alchemy production. So until the next one, see you later. Bye. You can see yourself on TV now, can't you? Well, of course we're wearing the same colour. Why are you wearing pink? Why are you wearing pink and Abby's wearing not quite so pink? There you are. Shall we put you in the video at the end? No. Why not? <laughs> you can see yourself on YouTube. No.